What's the difference between the Bozeman Hawks logo and the Miami of Ohio logo? Well, it looks like it'll be enough to make the Bozeman school change. We're only changing the logo. We're still going to be the Bozeman Hawks. <laughs> Around 2000, Miami of Ohio changed their name at the same time we were going through a, a logo change here. And so I think they both ended up on the internet and uh, Miami trademarked it and we didn't. So that's, that's where we're at right now. Miami of Ohio requested that Bozeman stop using the logo last winter, and they followed up with the school as recently as August. And we're still we're working with Miami of Ohio, but we have never had any concerns and we've never heard anything about our logo for 15 years. So, you know, we're going to take our time if we have to make the change. By taking their time, Bozeman High would like a few years to make the change. Superintendent Connors email, uh, sent them a letter asking for a three-year window so we could work on the rebranding. You know, we'll work with our vendors and our student council and Mr. Mills, our, uh, our Bozeman uh, uh, high school principal, will work on the project so we can make the change. There could be some financial impacts with changing the logo, mostly within the school. Um, there is, you know, some Hawk logos in Bozeman High School. So we'll have to figure out how we're going to handle that. You know, that is also something that's been brought up. So, you know, um, we're not sure yet. It would be, you know, if we have to change things within the school, there might be a financial issue with that. This is a situation that continues to change, and we will keep you up to date on MontanaSports.com. In Bozeman, John Miller, MTN Sports.